Bohannon hits unbeaten 92 to set up tense final day. A maiden five-wicket haul for Northamptonshire's Jack White, taken for the loss of just 14 runs, swept through Lancashire to leave them playing catch-up. Bowled out with a more than 100-run deficit to their hosts, but there was still a glimmer of hope for the visitors. An encouraging early wicket late in the day, Northamptonshire resuming on 25 for one, and that faint Lancashire hope shone brighter early on day three when Will Young was trapped in front by Bailey for 12. Rain forced them off for a while, but on their return to the middle, Lancashire found another breakthrough. The potentially dangerous Luke Proctor out caught at first slip by Jones off the bowling of Bailey. It was a troubling time for Northamptonshire. Their comfort, the lead they took with them into the innings, up to 158, when Keogh was caught behind off the bowling of Williams. This was going exactly as Lancashire wanted it to. Emilio Gay, the last of the top order batters, out trapped in front for 17 by Luke Wood. McManus was Bailey's third of the innings, bowled for a 13-ball duck, and after finishing the second day hoping for a chance, the visitors were now starting to look like favourites for the win. That looked even more likely when Taylor had his middle stump removed by Bailey. Northamptonshire reeling at lunch, heading in on 75 for seven. There was a bit of a recovery from the hosts after the break, led by Ryan Rickleton, the last of the recognised batters. He pushed the score beyond 100, and with it, the lead moved up to 200 runs. It kept climbing, Rickleton up to 50 off 72 balls with a scampered single off Williams. And he brought up the 150 with a booming strike over the leg side. Six runs added, some renewed optimism for the hosts. Kerrigan would fall for 43. Jones and Wells juggled the catch in the slips. Williams with a third. Sanderson went two balls later, a more straightforward catch for Wells this time. And Williams wrapped it up. White bowled for three, five for the seamer. Northamptonshire all out for 174, but crucially the target for Lancashire was a tricky 278. More than double what they'd achieved in their first innings. Credit to Rickleton. Without his half century, that target would surely have been a pretty straightforward one. His innings revitalised his side's aspirations, and the match was now in the balance despite Williams' best efforts for his five for 41. And the delicate position of the match was exposed early on when Jennings was pinned in front by Sanderson for one. But Bohannon and Wells ensured that would be the only wicket they'd lose before T, the pair stabilising the innings and heading into the break on 38 for one, 240 more needed. Wells and Bohannon looked solid after the break, moving the score past 50 and the required runs down towards 200. But Wells would go for 26, LBW to Taylor, another encouraging moment for Northamptonshire. Croft joined Bohannon and it was good stuff from the fourth wicket pair, watchful and resilient, dealing with everything Northamptonshire sent down their way. They were worth 50 off 99 when Croft whipped Keogh to the boundary for four. Lancashire up to 100 with the shot, 178 more needed now. Bohannon dropped to one knee, Kerrigan swept to the ropes, the boundary stopped by some good fielding, but they couldn't prevent the number three from picking up his 50, scored off 83 balls. He looked confident now, Keogh expensive and Northamptonshire needed a wicket. But they had to wait, the partnership worth 100 when Croft found the boundary off Sanderson. He was threatening to go to his 50 when Sanderson provided the breakthrough, but was it too little too late? Bohannon marched on, the required runs ticking down into double figures before the day was done. It was getting tense for the visitors though. Villas bowled by Sanderson by another one that looked like it kept a bit low. And then night watchman Matt Parkinson fell to the spin of Keogh, tamely chipping a catch to Will Young for a duck. Williams did what Parkinson couldn't and stayed with Bohannon through to the close. The score 192 for 5 and 86 more needed on what will surely be a tense final day at the county ground. It could go either way. The visitors have just five wickets in hand and Northamptonshire have an attack in some form. Whatever happens, it's set to be an enthralling conclusion.